Hey, peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. Today is Thor's Day, so we are going to delve in, get a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with you beautiful souls. I will, each and every one of you beautiful souls are feeling amazing, feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment, mind, body, and soul. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I, um, I've been missing you all, <laughs> but I have recently freed up my time, so I will be providing readings more frequently. Uh, I got to get myself back into the algorithms because I do longer reads. My readings are listenable. Uh, I don't make it into the algorithms uh, because YouTube promotes shorts. So, you know, I'm, 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 I'm working against the grain, so to speak, in regards to... Um, the content that I create. So I will be performing more frequently. Like, of course, I will continue to do the deep dives because I do know that, you know, most of those subscribed to the channel appreciate uh, the more in-depth reads. And so I don't want to do anything, um, you know, to to change my formula for those who actually appreciate the deeper uh, messages. Uh, but I also want to attract those who just kind of want a short and sweet message. So I'm going to start providing like uh, daily clear audience messages, uh, shorts, uh, so that I could get into those algorithms. But I will also provide the deeper dives for you all. Welcome to any of you beautiful Souls that may be new. As I said, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So during this reading, you will hear music. Um, you'll hear me playing music in the way that it works. Name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards will show. And it all just blends very beautifully. Uh, my my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. So if the reading does not apply to you all, just let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Do not try to force anything to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your natal chart, see what your other placements are, and then watch readings that correlate to those um, signs. And I'm sure you will find uh, that you get a more clear and concise message. I'll say. Uh, my spiel uh is eat the fish spit out the bones but i'm also providing you uh timeless messages so there is no time stamp there is no date uh, associated with this reading this reading will resonate with you when it resonates with you so regardless of whether you see this video two weeks from now uh three years from now four months from now it is all a matter of divine timing and divine order that you have done so. So my alarm just went off one time. So I take that as a confirmation. My fire alarm, I'm burning incense and sage just to get the energies right. So apparently, um, you know, the smoke, the smoke alarm is going off. But that's spirit confirming because it just went off once and then it went off twice. So we're going to go ahead. We're not going to take any more time. Uh, you know, I do want to do some house cleaning, of course, and then we shall proceed with the read. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, 
Ashe, Ashe, beautiful souls. So let's see what we have on the timestamp and who we have playing. So we have Aaliyah, and this is called Rock the Boat, and it is currently 9.23 on the clock. So 9.23, that reduces to 5. 5 is associated with the throat chakra. So be mindful of your words. I'm also here and don't allow anyone to agitate you, to aggravate you, to, or to uh, distract you. Uh, with Rock the Boat, someone could be coming in to rattle you. Uh, this could be someone that's in a secret competition, or this could be someone who's careless with their words, very smug, very argumentative or hostile uh, with Rock the Boat. Uh, because because I'm getting a sense of like, you know, someone may see you as being very cool, calm and collected and that could irritate or agitate them. So they could be coming in. Maybe there's some some communication, um, you know, that you just need to be mindful of. For some of you all, I'm getting a sense of, uh, you know, because that that five is associated with the Hierophant as well. And the Hierophant is really an energy of like institutions learning building researching it's a scholarly energy um it's about tutelage it's about building your wealth of knowledge it's about you know seeking wise counsel maybe you're sitting at the feet of an elder a t master teacher a healer a shaman a light worker a sufi a pastor a preacher maybe you are uh, sitting at the feet of perhaps like a, a matriarch in your family or a patriarch in your family an elder that you can trust and you're learning from them you're building knowledge from them um, with rock the boat maybe you are uh, you know there's some things that uh, you're learning and it's changing your perspective it's it's reshaping you in some degree it's re um, it's 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 almost like rewiring your brain uh, in a sense because I'm getting a sense of you learning something different that you may not have known before. But I'm also getting a sense of there being some sort of competitive energy, uh, and I'm hearing compromise. So don't compromise your integrity uh, is what I'm hearing very loudly. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. So we are going to first use where is the numerology deck. Those who come here often know I love to tap in with the numerology deck first and foremost. The way that I'm going to do your reading today, beloved, is I'm going to choose five cards from five different decks. We're going to pull uh, the overall energy, what you're attracting to you, how they feel about you, what's hidden in the energy, and the, oh, um, the outcome. And then we will uh, clarify those messages as well. Okay. So what do we have on the bottom of the deck? So we have 88, and this is abundance. This reduces to 16, which reduces to 7. So 7 is the chariot. 7 is also the crown chakra. So I feel like something that you've learned uh, is going to garner some sort of uh, emotional fulfillment, financial fulfillment, uh, wish fulfillment, perhaps. I feel like there's something coming in very quickly that you are not expecting. I do feel, you know, whatever you're attracting to you, it is uh, made in your likeness. This could be a person or this could just be perhaps a partnership. The eight is associated uh, with the strength card in traditional tarot. So I do feel like you have um, really healed emotionally from past pains, wounds, and traumas. And you have learned that self-love is more attractive. And you've refocused your attention on perhaps mastering your craft, honing your skills. Because I see like the eight of pentacles where you're kind of like working very, very diligently diligently on a particular goal or very diligently on some new endeavor, you could be really um, attracting others that could see your worth and value and they want to invest in you. They want to be supportive. They want to, um, you know, they want to build some sort of nucleus or a partnership or some sort of alliance. And I feel when you come into these uh, strong connections, these strong bonds, it will bring uh, abundance. It will bring uh, 
uh, an expansion or prosperity. Uh, it will bring wealth or financial blessings. And I see you also like powering through and powering ahead towards your dreams or your goals. Uh, maybe you have built up your confidence level uh, with working on this particular goal uh, because you're realizing just how good you are at it. It's like you're a natural at it. But I feel also like this is really your personal growth. Like this is your uh, your story. Uh, so you have persevered through a lot of, of trials, a lot. Okay, every time I speak, look at that. So there's another another confirmation from spirit. So every time I speak, it's like that that alarm goes off. So I just burned Palo Santo. I did have a candle lit and I just turned it off just in case, uh, you know, just in case it was triggering that because I don't want that going off throughout the whole reading. But I do feel like that isn't accidental or coincidental when that alarm goes off. I feel like that spirit saying, you know, uh, check, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? So with this 88, I do feel like you are being more assertive uh, towards your goals or towards your endeavors. I also feel strongly that you're attracting a like mind um this is you uh learning from karmic lessons I'm, I'm mainly getting because this is a pink card uh like the heart chakra pink is associated with the heart chakra along with the green uh so i'm getting a sense of like you healing from past disappointments and because you've done your due diligence to heal and you refocused your energy on turning that pain into power or turning that hurt into healing um now there is an abundance uh there's a flow coming towards you there's some sort of wish fulfillment and i feel like this is something that you've prayed for you've been very hopeful very optimistic i'm getting a sense of like you didn't allow yourselves to to uh you know just kind of like um, self-loathe uh, or, or, or be, you know, um, a victim. I feel like you mustered up the strength to power through, to power ahead. Uh, and you found your balance. You found that uh, equilibrium and you are now in alignment, mind, body, and soul. And that's why there is uh, this emotional abundance or this f uh, financial abundance that you are being uh, rewarded. I feel that very, very, very strongly. What we have playing right now is Tiana Taylor. And it's says uh it could just be love so spirit is saying that whatever this is that's coming in in abundance it could just be love and i'm hearing the love of self even um you you loving yourselves because before you can love anyone else you have to love yourself that's an inside job so you will attract what you are naturally and that's why i was saying i was feeling you're attracting someone in your likeness so this is someone who has an abundance they have a lot of love to give and it's 9 30 on the the clock and that reduces to three three is associated with the uh empress so i am getting a sense of someone that could be very attracted to you as well someone drawn to you if you're a masculine you're an emperor and someone could be very drawn to you they see you as someone who's a straight shooter you go get it um you're a leader you're a boss uh you're someone who's very willful very determined very ambitious and i feel like that that uh, type of attitude is always going to garner some sort of uh, successful outcome. It's always going to render you um, successful in your endeavor. So that's a beautiful energy. And look what's hiding underneath that. I saw the happy ending poking out. So you will have a happy ending. Even if it didn't start out as such, I feel like Spirit is saying, because you, you, you kept your boots to the ground and you stayed focused, you stayed very uh, disciplined, very diligent in your goals in acquiring what you desire and here it is so you're attracting whatever it is you desire because the empress is very attractive um she's seen as very powerful very nurturing very loving very maternal if you're masculine you're very powerful very protective very domestic you know very devoted um and someone could definitely be drawn to you. This could be someone that absolutely uh, has a soft spot for you. So what we have on the split is we have the um, 88 abundance and 37 time out. 
So I do feel like some of you all have taken a necessary break. And because you've taken the break, you've meditated to get something straight. Or maybe you've contemplated on your next move, wanting to make it your best move. Because that eight is giving me like the eight of wands as well, where you're taking action. It's abrupt action. It's quick action. But it's because you've taken that time to assess. Uh, that 37 reduces to one. So maybe there was some sort of ending, which required rejuvenation, recuperation, which required required you to kind of like, um, you know, center yourself, ground yourself, get back to one, get back to the self because that 37, that 10 also reduces to one. So an ending reduced, I mean, an ending um, has also led to some new beginning. Uh, and this new beginning, you're learning to manifest. You're learning to set your intentions. You're learning to, uh, you know, call in what you desire or you are, um, turning your thoughts into reality. And I feel like, you know, this time out has given you some clarity because I do see that yellow in the symbol here. And the yellow always deals with a luminous energy or strength or just gaining, you know, some grand epiphany or having an aha moment of some sort. And this one and the 16, which reduces to seven, it still reduces to eight. So this is really showing me um, that you have, uh, you know, some desire uh, to move forward because the 16, 7, and this 37, 1, like I said, that's 8. So this is giving me like 8 of pentacles. Like this, something has like led you to working um, you know, working on your dreams. I'm getting a sense of you like following your dreams. I'm getting a sense of like you co-creating with source because I always get, uh, you know, the star energy from the number eight. Uh, I always feel like that's an element of you co-creating with source, um, healing from past pains, wounds, and traumas, purifying yourself, um, you know, and as I said, turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower. So whatever has hurt you uh, in the past, it's like you are now using that as fuel to to heal, you know, so every great healer has to first heal themselves. And I feel like you've you've taken your power back because I'm getting the eighth, the, sh the strength card. So it's like you are in control of your own subconscious thoughts now. Um, what we have playing is Jill Scott. Someone could be dealing with someone named Jill or Scott. And this is called He Loves Me. So some of you feminine energies, uh, you will hear from someone. Someone may come in and, uh, you know, message you. You may receive like some unexpected message from someone confessing that they love you. Um, as I said, maybe this is someone coming into your life, walking into your life. This is like positive movements forward. We have 56 relationship change and that 56 reduces to 11. And then we have the time out, which reduce, reduces to 10, which is one. So this is like one, one. And one. and one is again uh, the empress and the empress is someone very beautiful, very attractive, very powerful and self-aware. She also knows her worth and value so she doesn't settle. If this is a masculine energy, the same thing is applicable. So it's like I feel someone is going to confess that they love you. This is a blue card and blue does deal with the throat shock. We opened up the reading. Um, you know, uh, speaking to communication or someone expressing themselves, or maybe, you know, maybe this is someone that will rattle you, your feathers, you know, because this will kind of throw you off with, he loves me. I feel like someone, someone very well may come in and confess that they love you with three. They could be strategizing, planning, preparing, because I'm getting like the three of wands where someone is taking the time, uh, you know, to get something right. So they're, you know, making sure to, to dot their I's cross their T's, so to speak, because they are, uh, you know, wanting to approach or wanting to communicate, but they could be mustering up the courage to do so. Uh, and now we have Jill Scott singing only you. So maybe someone is realizing that you are perhaps like the source of their happiness, or maybe only you are someone, you know, that matches their fly, or maybe you are the only one that has captured their heart. You know, that three is the solar plexus, the sun that shines within. So maybe someone is now realizing that truth. That's their gut instinct, their gumption. They're following their inner wisdom and it's leading them to you. And with that relationship change, if you are single, which most Scorpios right now are single because they've been going through their dark night of the soul journey, I feel like there's going to be a change in regards to your status. So prepare because I feel like you are attracting a like mind. 
So that's beautiful. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's cut the deck and get our overall energy. Beautiful souls. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Bottom of the deck, we have 77 spirituality, another double number. So for those of you who are new, whenever I see double numbers, I usually um, feel that that's someone you are attracting that's mirroring your energy. So the seven is associated with the crown chakra and the spirituality is telling me that you and this person are very intuitive, psychic, clairaudient, clairvoyant. You both communicate perhaps telepathically there's heavy thoughts and a lot of dream activity perhaps maybe you're having lucid dreams maybe someone knows how to astral travel and they could be remote viewing you um, I'm also getting a sense of this being someone who is a like mind so as I said someone that's um, realizing that you match their fly their vibration you're someone who they can uh, build with grow with with spirituality they feel a very sacred connection a very spiritual bond and that seven seven breaks down to 14 which is five so i do get a sense of this person now um you know maybe they have uh been working on themselves as well because in this deck the seven is the personal um personal growth card uh and so there's a sense of like you both have been going through your own uh dark night of the soul journeys you've been going through these startling metamorphosis these transformations you've been regenerating and rejuvenating your spirit and so now you're being a aligned with your counterpart, your divine counterpart, your cosmic companion, your twin flame, the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. And this is not just a love ship. This is a spiritual connection. This is also you coming into alignment with your purpose, with your passion. Maybe you have been working and honing those skills, as I said, in a studious energy, and you've built your wealth of knowledge. And now you're aligning with your purpose. Now, seven, seven breaks down to 14, which is five, and the five is associated with that hierophant as we broke down earlier and so I do feel like whatever your skill set is it is a spiritual asset and it's something that you will do we've seen the spiritual career card show up a gazillion times in Scorpio's readings so I do feel like this is just confirming that you're aligning with your purpose you're aligning with your passion and some of you all will be disseminating uh, information you will be tapping into your artistic skills or creative skills or you're already honing those skills mastering your craft, sharpening your sword, and you will eventually be uh, embarking on some brand new be uh, beginning in your spiritual career. Um, I also get a sense of, uh, with spirit saying only you, I feel like whatever you're doing is very unique. Um, you could be like uh, a trendsetter, uh, whatever your your whatever your skill is, whatever your gift is, because I do feel this is a spiritual gift. It's something that is rooted in your spirituality. And I feel it has something to do with like psychic abilities, channeling abilities, uh, scrying abilities, intuitive abilities. Um, it's like it's cerebral. It's it's in the mind. Uh, maybe you are a remote healer. You know, maybe you are a Reiki healer of some sort. But I feel like there's going to be uh, some activity and there will be uh, others like um, perhaps uh, seeking out uh you know your your services like you will be uh opening up some sort of spiritual uh some sort of spiritual business or spiritual career and i feel like whoever you're attracting there will be like a partner because we saw that 88 abundance and i was getting a sense of like eight of pentacles which is like when someone wants to come in and build a partnership or build an alliance with you this is a supportive energy uh but i'm also getting a sense with this five like there will be communication eventually someone will communicate or you could be having someone communicating with you telepathically or intuitively so pay attention to signs synchronicities pay attention to your dreams because I do feel like there's something uh, that spirit is, um, you know, kind of like nudging you to to listen up to, you know, listen out for. We have uh, R. Kelly. Uh, so someone could be dealing with someone named Robert or Kelly. Uh, and this is called One Man. So I do feel like for some of you feminines, you could be attracting that one. You could be attracting someone uh, that is the yang to your yin. Or for some of you masculines, this is you. Like maybe your sentiment is you're only one man uh, and you need, you know, uh, your queen. You need that, that empress. You know, um, you can't 
carry the bur the burdens or the load on your own. Maybe in the past that's something you took pride in, but now maybe you're looking more to um, you know to settle down to be an honest man uh, with this one man. Um, you know, maybe you're dealing with some some someone uh, who's healing from you know dealing with a, a masculine who has you know had several lovers, uh, had them caught up in some sort of um, third party shenanigans, and so with one man, maybe you're the one man that can help them, um, you know, get past that hurt. You know, it's almost like you know, spirit is just reminding you that. Um, you're going to be aligned with someone that is your divine counterpart. You're that one man that could uh, bring someone that happiness, that peace that they're looking for. So this is beautiful. So let's tap in. So we got 33 communication and I was speaking to there being some uh, messages coming through. Uh, the 33 is reduced to six. Six is the first eye. So as I said, there could be someone uh, perhaps gaining some sort of epiphany, having some aha moment. Maybe they're having some sort of like um, grand epiphany. Like they're like, oh, snap, like, you know, maybe they are realizing that they're the one for you. They're that one man. They're the one for you. If you're a feminine, there's a man that's realizing you're the one for them. They're the one for you uh, because we had uh, Jill Scott before this singing only you. So there is a sense of someone now having some epiphany with the five and the six. That's 11. So this is one half of that 11, 11. And they do communicate telepathically or intuitively, or this could just be someone, uh, you know, using discernment or trusting their intuition or just really thinking this is a real uh, cerebral energy but I do get aha like an epiphany of some sort so that's what we got with that message so let's get who you're attracting to you we're going to pull a message from the awakened soul deck so let's see who are you attracting to you and so what we have here is Gaia so whoever you're attracting, it could be someone that is an earth sign. This is someone that is really um, interested in grounding you and this connection, or they feel that you ground them. They feel that you're very down to earth, very, you know, earthy, very maternal, very domestic, very intuitive, very, you know, loving, nurturing, caring, and kind. Um, give me one moment. I'm sorry. My beloved, sorry. All right, so with this guy, I do feel like, you know, whoever you're attracting to you, I do feel like this is someone that is coming in to ground you and this connection, especially with spirituality. This is a very sacred connection, a very sacred bond. Um, and we have Erica Badu, 20 foot tall or 20 feet tall playing. Uh, so they feel like you're very guarded or they could be very guarded. I mentioned this song in a former reading and it's so funny that it's now playing in this reading. So in your former reading, if you check it out, I was mentioning uh, 20 feet tall. I was hearing that and it's now playing in this reading. So this is in fact the same person. I feel like whoever you're attracting, they do have walls up um, or maybe this is someone that can perceive you as having walls up and they just want to ground your energy. Um, they just want to knock down the walls is what I just heard. So that's very interesting. Very interesting how that happened. And so we have here... Um, challenge. So yes, so that's why the 20 feet tall is here. So they may see you as a challenge. Uh, you can see this feminine is sitting here playing a game of chess by herself. And so it's like, you know, they, they see you as a challenge. They see this also as, um, you know, this is going to be an obstacle trying to come towards you because maybe they feel like you are, you know, very guarded or you have blocked them off. Maybe this is their energy. If you look in the back of this, you know, um, feminine energy there are mountains and mountains always denote um you know you know those valleys you know those those peaks and valleys in life the ebbs and flows in life you know going through those tumultuous uh circumstances but learning from them and chess is also you know uh guarded as the game of life so it's like this person has been learning it seems there's been a sense of like learning uh to perhaps 
you know, slowly but surely uh, take down their walls or take down their def defenses uh, because they've been very um, jaded for a long time. And I feel like, you know, forgiveness is key for whomever this is. Maybe this is a lesson they've had to learn. Uh, maybe this is a lesson you both have had to learn uh, because, you know, with the double seven, seven and the double eight, eight, uh, I get a sense, as I said, that you both were growing personally. Um, um, you know, this is about, you know, uh, learning to love thyself. And then when you love thyself, you heal thyself. And when you heal thyself, you then know thyself. So I feel like you both have gone through very similar life lessons. You've be both been through that dark night of the soul journey and have learned karmic lessons from people that you love. Um, and I see sensuality here. So someone could be very attracted to you. Uh, as I said, I was picking up an empress energy because we saw that happy ending. And it was also 9 uh, 30 on the clock and so i was picking up like someone is very attracted they have passion fire and they could be trying to uh mastermind and strategize a way to come towards you uh but they find you to be very sensual very attractive but you're also um distant you know uh this is a card uh the sanctuary is like you've created a very sacred space so you have moved away from a lot of the turmoil a lot of the drama the negativity and you've created like a safe haven you could be also seen as someone who is very um you know uh you enjoy your solitude you enjoy your peace um you enjoy you know that time away that time alone uh but they are also very attracted very attracted to you and we have erica Badu singing me so i do feel like this person uh with me um it's making me think of an old name that i used to have an old moniker that i used to use called uh it was a an acronym for mysterious element so this person finds you to be very mysterious um they're intrigued by you they also have noticed your transformation if you look at the snake it's like shedding its skin so it's like they've watched you like transform and grow. Uh, this is also who's someone who's also going through this process of rejuvenating, of regenerating, of recuperating, of growing, of healing. This is like a rebirth. Um, so they've outgrown some old concepts of themselves. And with me playing, uh, someone could be named Erica, someone could be dealing with someone named Erica, uh, or someone who has an E or a B in their name, first, middle, or last. Uh, but I do feel like this person and also um, is looking at themselves. You know, this is like, uh, you know, doing that shadow work, as I said, you know, kind of like you could be that mirrored reflection, which has triggered or activated uh, this desire to transform, this desire to change, as the card says, because this is a change, a card of change. So this person has been changing and I'm hearing for the better being emphasized in my mind's eye. So we have forgiveness and change. So something within this person has changed. I feel like for a long time, they felt caged, stagnant it and stuff this is really like you know uh it looks like the phoenix rising from the ashes maybe they were bound and stuck in some sort of codependent relationship maybe they were uh this was you know their mind also maybe they needed to change their own mind uh in pertinence to a particular uh circumstance maybe they saw themselves as being stuck but it was all in their mind uh so they when they change their mind they change their reality because your mind does shape your reality. What you think and harbor on the most is what you create. That's why it's very important to not live in a spirit of lack or speak negative things um, onto yourselves or in your life because you will create more of that. The mind acts as a projector. Uh, so with this energy, it's almost like someone is you know, learning to uh, forgive themselves. Uh, and forgiveness is about compassion. Uh, forgiveness is also um, being patient with yourself not judging yourself or not having others judge you and now maybe someone has learned to forgive themselves for their past actions uh, and this is slowly but surely changing their perspective changing the way that they're perceiving life but the way that they're perceiving relationships the way that they perceive the world even so this is powerful and with me um me mysterious elements maybe this is you know how they are perceiving you but let's tap in let's see so who is this person i would love to 
Scorpios are attracting to them? Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. I feel good with that. So let's tap in, beloveds. Who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Some beautiful messages coming through. And we have on the bottom of the deck, we have... Um, what does this say? Boundaries. So boundaries. So you, this is that person. Remember, 20 foot tall. So this is someone that is very guarded. You know, this is someone who has like a wall up. So, you know, whoever you're attracting to you or whatever you're attracting to you, I feel like spirit is, is like telling you, um, you know, maybe there's a need to, uh, you know, kind of like be more receptive, be more open, pardon me, um, be more open and be more receptive. Uh, whoever this person is, maybe this is someone that is going to, you know, start letting their wall down. Because with the seven, seven and this five, they, I, I just strongly get a sense of them like learning you know, they're learning and they will slowly surrender with time. Um, but this is someone very, very guarded because uh, that 20 foot tall was playing. And what we have here, what did I say about mirror? Didn't I say that a mirror reflection, someone doing shadow work? So this is someone that is, you know, maybe they are matching your energy. You know how people say, uh, you know, I'll match your energy and maybe they perceive you as guarded because we did see that sanctuary card where you're like, you know, kind of like, you know, um, you know, in, in isolation, you've created a sacred space. So maybe this person is also, uh, you know, very guarded, very, very, uh, very restricted to some degree and 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 i feel like spirit is saying that someone is going to have to budge uh we got mona lisa playing can't be wasting my time here so you know maybe this is what we're getting you both are coming off very guarded and so that's why this person is guarded because you're guarded and so with you can't be wasting my time it's like they see you as someone that doesn't take too kindly to anyone toying with you, playing with your time, distracting you from your path, because they do see you as someone very powerful and attractive and beautiful. So they're guarded because they feel that you're guarded. So it's like they're matching your energy. And, and instead of matching someone's energy uh, negatively, like, you know, if somebody's all hot and bothered, it's like you shouldn't match that energy. What you should do is you should, you know, kind of it's about diffusing, you know, that that hostile type of energy. So this person is guarded. This person is kind of blocked off um, as well. Whatever you're attracting to you, uh, I do feel like spirit is saying establish boundaries. It's like you've established, excuse me, some sort of boundaries. Um, so you could be seen as very mysterious because you're so you're so, you're like um you're like secluded. You're like you've isolated yourself. You know, you're in solitude, if you will. Not secluded. You're in solitude. So let's tap it. So let's see. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? What did I say about them being attracted, beloved? I told you there was a tragedy. Fire and desire is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that Rick James and Tina Marie song, Fire and Desire, with this one. So this is how they feel about you, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is very felicious. So this is someone that's very attracted, but this is also someone that could be trying to manifest some sort of new start with you. Uh, they don't want to waste your time. with can't be wasting your time. That's how they, they feel you are very serious when it comes to, you know, your peace, your happiness. Like, you don't want anyone... Um, you know, interfering with that. And so this is someone that could be literally like trying to manifest you, you know, literally, um, you know, uh, wanting to manifest you back into their life. Uh, that, that Ace of Wands is truly like an instrument. It's like a staff. So it's an instrument for magic. And so we have the temperance here. So spirit is reminding someone that, you know, good things take time to create. This is also about, you know, pouring into your own cup and healing there's an angel that is you know perhaps conspiring to bring this union into fruition uh maybe someone has called this in but there is a new beginning there's a very exciting and powerful and passionate new start maybe someone's name is mona or lisa someone could have been born on 11 20 um 
you know, that you are dealing with, or someone could have been born uh, on 11, uh, 11, 2, you know, 11, 7, 11, 9, could have been born in uh, 1979. Uh, but I'm just getting a sense of like, Spirit is saying like good things take time to create. And underneath this Ace of Wands is the lovers. Something told me to look and I see the Ace of Wands and the lovers. So this can absolutely be, you know, there's yet again that same angel overseeing this union. So I do get a sense of like this being a very sacred bond, a very spiritual uh, bond and connection. Because remember we had 7-7 seven, seven spirituality. So when your angels show up, um, you know, I do feel like that's just speaking to uh, this connection being sacred. Uh, and if you look at, um, you know, the, the album cover, she appears to be, you know, laying on a floor that looks like chess pieces. And we just saw, uh, you know, the card, which was showing challenge. So there, there are some challenges here. Uh, and I feel it's because uh, of the guardedness, how guarded you are coming off, how guarded this other person is coming off. And it has a lot to do with whatever you both have endured in your pasts. Um, it's not what you've endured with one another, but what you've endured in your past. And that's why, you know, this angel is here um, teaching you all how to uh, fill your own cup, teaching you all the importance of self-love. Self-love is, you know, an inside job. So you're taking the time to heal, to grow, to 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 become balanced, to, um, you know, to, to become grounded even. And uh, as I said, good things take time to create and then you will have this fresh start. So what we have playing right now is Tidra Moses, and this is called Be Your Girl. So this is some of you all, you, this is someone that wants you to be their girl, uh, or some of you ladies, you know, want to be a masculine's girl. We have complex simplicity. So as I said, there are some challenges and I feel the challenge is just, you know, there's still work being done. These are two chalices uh, that this uh, angel is, you know, kind of pouring into one another. Uh, so I do feel like this is really speaking to you and whoever you're attracting to you, both doing, uh, you know, your internal work, both healing, uh, because the aces are always, you know, the angels stepping in to affect that change or to, to create that change, to shake things up a little bit. And I feel like this is teaching you, uh, you know, to, you know, prioritize you, to love you, to heal you. As I said, when you heal thyself, you love thyself. When you love thyself, you then know thyself. And when you know thyself, you know what you deserve, what you desire, and you're not willing, you know, to settle any longer. So with Be Your Girl, you could be dealing with someone named Moses. Um, I also feel like someone uh, absolutely is going to ask you to be theirs. Um, so let's tap in. Let's see what we got coming and going out. And I just saw the Five of Swords and I was getting like smug energy. Someone could be uh, perhaps recovering from dealing with that energy. There goes the Magician and the temperance so someone is absolutely manifesting this union they could see you as a master manifester because we are pulling the energy for how they feel about you so we have this uh queen of wands queen of wands is very attractive so a couple of cards flew out and i'm going to expound on those so we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, we have the High Priestess, and we have the King of Cups here. And the way that it looks is like this. Put all of the cards in perspective so you can see them. So this King of Cups seems to be observing all of this. You know, maybe this is that uh, energy of that person that appears to be very guarded. Maybe they're reflecting back. You know, maybe this is someone who was uh, dealing with, you know, a queen of wands uh, that may have broken their heart. You know, as I said, you're recovering and someone that you're attracting to you is also recovering. Uh, this could also just be your energy recovering. Maybe you were dealing with a, a fire sign, um, but I feel like there were some secrets and you had to recover from those secrets. Uh, with Be Your Girl, you know, you know that I feel like that's probably uh, what you want in this connection uh, if you were dealing with a fire sign that broke your heart it's like you're recovering but you're also reflecting this person didn't really pay much attention to you or didn't really appreciate and value you I feel like they had a lot of secrets I feel like there was a lot of control also a lot of control issues um, you know maybe they were someone that um, and you know they they 
entertained a lot of attention from other people and this may have hurt you or this could have hurt someone there was definitely secrets there were so many secrets and perhaps you may have uh, discovered each and every one of them because the king of cups uh, and the queen of cups they're very intuitive very psychic signs and this sitting next to um, you know the high priestess this king of cups right next to the high priestess it's like you've discovered someone's secrets or you've learned to trust your intuition uh and you realize that something wasn't what it seemed to be so let's tap it let's see what we got coming and going out going on let me give these cards a bang bang boogie being as though they all splat out thank you spirit so let's see how does this person our beloved scorpio or attracting to them feel about our beloved scorpios and get a message of peace power and protection spirit we get a message of peace, power, and protection. How does this person that Scorpios are attracted to them feel about our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? And we have the star. So what did I say? I knew that they felt you was a wish fulfillment. They also see you uh, as someone who's done a lot of healing. Four, 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 four on the clock. And it's also 1003, which is another four. So this is a divine masculine that has you on their mind. Um, this could be someone, you know, uh, if this isn't a divine masculine, this could be a divine feminine uh, that has a divine masculine on their mind. But this is how they see you. Uh, they see you as someone who has absolutely turned your pain into power and your vulnerabilities into a superpower. Uh, you remain hopeful even when things got really ugly. It's like you did not shy away from the work. This is you co-creating with Source, as I said earlier, learning that you are the Magi, you are the alchemist, that you are the one that could affect the change. And I feel like whatever prayers, petitions, whatever daily affirmations or whatever daily uh, practices, meditating, um, whatever you did to center yourself, ground yourself, it's like there is a wish fulfillment here. This person dreams of you and thinks of you all the time, but they are very guarded. You know, this is someone very, you know, very guarded, but I feel they're learning. You know, they could potentially be learning um, by watching you because I do feel they observe you uh, at a distance. They do um, realize and recognize uh, that you are some you know, powerful uh, master manifester. What we have here is a five of wands. And I was picking up on that energy of having a lot of competition. Um, this is the dun -dun -dun crew. Like nobody knows which way is up, down. They all like, you know, confuse. Everybody's talking at the same time. Nobody's really listening to the other. And this is an energy that I was also getting. It's like, so maybe someone had a lot of people um, in their head or maybe they was sharing too much information. And so this was causing someone to become very confused maybe this is just other um other interests which kind of confuse things uh but what they see in you is a star uh this also is speaking to like you uh praying and wishing and, and hoping on a star or being you know the co creator with source to manifest on some sort of wish fulfillment you're asking your angels and sending up your prayers and petitions and i feel like they will answer your prayers in due time and just do um this is what's on the bottom of the deck so what's hidden is that there are some some fighting some infighting uh someone is very confused uh i also get a sense of like you know um people trying to like um you know this is like you know the blind leading the blind, you know, sort of, this is how I see that card is like, you know, the blind leading the blind. So let's tap it. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's get a message from, let's get a message from Energy Oracle deck for what's hidden in the energy. So what's playing right now? So what's stuck in there is we have indecision. This is stuck in the box. So someone is definitely like, that's probably why they're like in this boundaries energy, uh, because they're stuck at a crossroads, perhaps they feel stuck, uh, you know, trying to make a decision. You know, this is someone having to make a choice, you know, perhaps between two people. And we have Kim playing inside. And what's sticking out to me is chemistry. So this is someone who definitely feels, you know, this strong chemistry, synergy. They feel this likeness with you. And they know, you know, that there's happiness with you. This could also be just your energy, like following what feels good, you know, following your inner gumption. And it's leading to the door to personal healing and happiness. So it's like you're moving ahead because remember that seven that we saw, you have seven, seven, seven here. 
So this is like a blessing. This is like, you know, what spirit is rewarding you with. This is like you are garnering some sort of like happy ending as we saw with the card. So you're going to be happy. Things are going to be uh, very affluent and abundant and successful and opulent. Very peaceful. You can see rainbows and doves. So there's an opportunity to, to have some sort of fresh start. You know, this is a beautiful fresh start. This is what's hidden. You know, this is what's hidden. And with inside playing, I do feel like, you know, as I said, uh, because the seven is associated with the crown chakra. So there's been a lot of personal growth. So you've done a lot of inside internal work. You've worked from the inside out. Whatever you're feeling is radiating from the inside out. So it's like, you know, the healing that you've done, it's like you're no longer coming off um, as a wounded, you know, wounded warrior it's like you're you're now healed you know because it says daughter personal healing and happiness so as i said when you heal thyself you learn to love thyself when you love thyself you then know thyself so you've worked internally this is speaking to you doing a lot of internal work and now it is radiating look at this you got the daughter personal healing and happiness and you have the door to value so this is what you are attracting this is what's hidden so you're going to be rewarded because you have 31, the door to value, which reduces to four. So that's your stability, your security. That four is also the heart chakra. Whoever you're attracting could also be very successful or very, um, you know, uh, like a boss in their own right. They could be an entrepreneur. The four is associated with not only the heart chakra, uh, which speaks to you not only being emotionally fulfilled, but financially fulfilled, but this could be like an emperor. You know, this could be like a business you started, or this could be someone who is, uh, you know, they got the Midas touch. This is someone that is absolutely very successful. And I feel like you're going to be very happy uh, with whatever it is you're doing. Maybe this is a business partnership, as I said. And this door can be seen as opening or shutting. So this is like, you know, like um, an opportunity that is being presented by spirit. Spirit is opening up this, this, the, you know, this chapter, this phase, this stage, this junction in your lives. So that's beautiful. On the split, we have the um, woman holding a heart. And we also have the daughter personal healing and happiness. And you see how she's like holding her heart away from something. So it's like you're very guarded and protected as well when it comes to matters of the heart. This is also 44. And we just saw 4444. So with this 4444, I'm absolutely getting like your angels are the ones that are conspiring to bring in the right one. It's like you have asked for someone that's going to speak your love language. And I feel like with this daughter personal healing and happiness, you're absolutely absolutely going to get just that this four four breaks down to eight and eight breaks down I mean in the eight and this 34 breaks down to seven so that's eight and seven is 15 that's six so this could be like that twin flame the lovers we just saw so this is like a spiritual union a spiritual partnership this is that cosmic companion four is the number and vibration of a twin flame union and with the four, the heart, sharp, the heart chakra, that's also the divine masculine. I do feel like someone is coming in and it is currently 1010. So I do feel like you both are attracting one another because you both have completed and wrapped up cycles, you know, independently, you know, of the other. I feel this is a new person coming in that has also experienced similar uh, circumstances. And as I said, this is a spiritual union, a spiritual bond, spiritual connection. This could be even you coming into uh, union with a past life love because the lovers is very past life energy as well. The six, you know, the, the eight and the seven reduces to 15, that's six. So I get the lovers. I also get a sense of you like knowing that this is happening because you've been manifesting this and co-creating with source to bring this in, not just love, but also abundance and happiness and your overall peace, prosperity. This is beautiful. And we have India, I read strength, courage, and wisdom. And remember I was saying that someone was mustering up the strength to come towards you. Because they know that you love yourself. They see that you have like, as I said, you've turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. You're not guarded. You're not rigid. You're not jaded. You are just who you are. You have accepted whatever has transpired in your past. You've accepted it. You've even accepted the apologies that you may never have uh, uh, you know, received from others. 
And this person could absolutely be learning from you because they too are guarded. They too are, you know, and you could have been very guarded in your past. You can see here how she's holding her heart, very protective of her heart. And this is, you know, that energy that I feel you're vibrating in as well. But with this beautiful uh, strength, courage, and wisdom, it's like someone is going to power through. They're going to uh, stand in their power or they're going to brave their light. And they're going to approach you because they do see you as a like mind. Double numbers always, always makes me feel like you're attracting someone that's mirroring your energy. And remember, we had a mirror show up. So they're looking at you and they see themselves very clearly. And the guardian card is right underneath that. So this, this person is absolutely like seeking wise counsel. And, and they were perhaps like seeking wise counsel from the wrong people. You know, because this is like when you ask an advice and then everybody's chiming in, speaking at the same time. And it's just a bowl of confusion. And so there's nothing better than to center themselves, uh, to center yourself, to get the answers. The answers you seek are always found within. And that was also why Kim was singing inside. Because you have to go within. The answers you need are found within. And so you, you know, you meditate to get things straight, you contemplate, and you communicate with your higher self. If you look at this feminine's energy, there is a butterfly at her crown shot, I mean in her first eye. And that's literally what you have learned to do, to use discernment, to use your intuition. And that's why I feel like, you know, this double number, the four, when it comes to your heart, you don't play. That person knows you don't want anyone coming around to waste your time because we have Mona Lisa playing and there was also that chessboard. So this person knows they can't come in playing with your heart. So they're mustering up the strength, the courage. They're learning. I feel like they've learned a lot through watching you. See this? This is what you're, uh, pardon me, this is what you're protecting yourself from. And let me put it where it made sense. You're protecting yourself from people who coming in with this hostile energy, people who don't know which way is up, people who are very jaded, rigid, you know, just toxic overall. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. You could have someone from your past. Like I said earlier, I was picking up someone like trying to um, argue, trying to agitate you. And it could be because you are not opening up yourself to the nonsense anymore. Maybe they were so used to being able to trigger you or to, pull, you know, pull and tug at your emotions and you're no longer giving them anything because you're very protective, very guarded. You've created a sacred space. You've created a safe space. You know, you're in a protective bubble. So you could be protecting yourself from your past, um, you know, your past person. And this person could also be very in a, a, a very protective um, mode because of whatever they've experienced as well. So I feel you both have experienced something, not with one another, because I'm just getting I keep hearing new person, new person. So this has nothing to do with a karmic or an ex that you have dealt with. This is someone you're attracting who has been through similar experiences. And we have 18 anxiety and patience here. And remember, I was getting like, you know, someone just up in their head, stressing, overthinking, ruminating, pining, you know, stress kills, you know, so you got to. Crush, kill, destroy stress. Like, don't allow yourselves to be too much in your head. It's like, that's why it's very important to ground yourself, to get out in nature. Because Mother Gaia did show up. So that's all about going out in nature, grounding yourself, centering yourself. Uh, you know, and, and, and you know, checking for those downloads. The spirit will communicate with you through various means. Through animal totems, numbers, sensations, music. There's so many ways, communi uh, you know, the, the spirit will communicate with you. Uh, so you have to be you have to be grounded in order to receive those downloads or those divine interventions. When you're up in your head, it's like that's the devil's playground. So it can cause confusion and, and, and worry and all of these things. So spirit is telling you it's time to get out of nature, perhaps. So what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpio? And we have Tony. Uh, I'm sorry, Tamar Braxton. Braxton, excuse me. And this is called the One. So you are the One. What's hidden is the One. The one for you is coming in or the one is someone feels you're the one. So we have the thinking woman here. 
So this is uh, what's hidden in the energy, and this is the number 47. So for some of you all, what's hidden is there's someone, like I said, strategizing. This could even be you in that very studious energy. You can see she's about to ascend, go up the stairway. So that's about ascension, elevating. That's growing and building. You're worth the one playing by Tony Braxton. Is I mean, I keep saying Tony. So someone's name could be Tony, you know. But I also am getting like with love and war, it's like you've learned a lot from, you know, your past experiences and it's helped you to transform because you can see that beautiful butterfly there just, you know, fluttering around. And she has all these books and books denote, you know, learning. It, it denotes knowledge. You've turned that knowledge into wise dome. So it's like what's hidden is you're, you're building your wealth of knowledge. That 11 uh, is associated with justice. So you're getting your just due. I feel like you've learned that your hard work will pay off. Whatever you put out, you will get back. So whatever you've been working on, whatever you've been learning, whatever studious energy, it's like spirit is confirming that there will be success, there will be rewards, there will be recognition, that you will get your just due is what I'm hearing. But I'm also getting a sense of like the two. You're choosing the right decision for you you're choosing you know whatever this is you know because remember we saw indecision stuck in the box it's like you're going to choose that one decision or that right action uh, which is going to lead to your ascension your growth this could lead to a very sacred connection or, or, or you know because it looks like someone is like um, capturing her attention before she goes up the stairs it could be someone that has called her name and she turned around like you know to, to see who it is because she's walking, but she turns. So it's like the one. So this is going to be the one. Maybe someone, you will meet someone at a library or meet someone in some sort of, um, in a learning institution. Like maybe you are uh, meeting someone and aligning, aligning with someone on a similar path. This is powerful. I like that. And so we have the garden and the gate on the bottom of the deck. So this is definitely someone who needs to uh, step outside of their comfort zone. They've been very routine. This is also like fears. You know, they, they, they're dreaming of what could be, but they're still stuck, you know. And this looks almost like a like a youthful energy. So this is like someone who has, you know, fears of, of being um, independent. Maybe there's a, a level of codependency. And we have this... Uh, and this three and three, so yeah, so th this is, I feel like this is whoever you're attracting to you, they're, they're needing balance, but, you know, they're, they're stuck in a comfort zone, it's, it's almost like, you know, whatever isn't growing is dead, you know, this person is just stuck here, but they're dreaming of something better, but they're just, you know, it's almost like, you know, maybe they're riddled with fears, but I do feel like they will Oh, look at Archangel Mikael. I love it. Because this is what's underneath those cards. So they do get an epiphany. And I feel like it's because Archangel Mikael uh, steps in to cut someone free from something that could be keeping them stuck. Because this is a stuck energy. You know, when you're just like sitting here dreaming, wishing, hoping, but you're not taking any action. So this is like, you know, that that's that energy. Maybe someone is strategizing, which strategizing a plan of action, you know, um, but Archangel Mikael is here to protect, you know, to protect this divine union, the sacred union. Whenever I see Archangel Mikael, I know for a fact that he is, um, you know, protecting this union and is responsible for bringing this balance you know, this angel, these angels are showing up for this union. These angels are showing up for this connection, I feel. And we have uh, Adina Howard. Someone's name could be Adina or Howard, first, middle, or last. And it says uh, Second Coming is the name of the album, but the name of the song is But Naked. So remember, I was speaking to the star who is naked. So this is about bearing your soul. This is also about turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower. You know, this is not about being fearful or, you know, having those inhibitions. This is about going after what you want. So you cannot be, you know, sitting here in a comfort zone, but still dreaming and wishing and hoping that things will change without trying to affect the change. So someone is, is learning something about themselves, I feel. So let's get the overall energy, beloveds, and then we're going to wrap the top. So what do we have here on the bottom of the deck? Look at that. The nine of pentacles, the outcome. So hard work paying off. This is like pre-empress, pre-empress status. 
You know, remember I was telling you, I was seeing like that eight of pentacles where you were very, you know, um, resilient. You was working very diligently on a goal. And this is literally that. So you are like tending to your business. You know, this is you being single and independent, you know, and someone seeing your worth, someone seeing your value. And we have this two of swords here with the two uh, with the nine of pentacles. So this is like, you know, stuck in two minds, two decisions, two different directions. And I was getting that as well. Someone needing to make a decision. And that's why the angel of balance, because someone is like really out of balance. They're disharmonized. And we have the seven of cups. Yeah, they were they were out of balance because there was too many options. And they were not being their authentic self. He's wearing a mask and a hood. Whenever I see either of those, I feel like someone is just wearing a mask. They're not being they're not being their they're not being their authentic self. They're not being true to themselves. It's almost like they allow other people to influence their decisions, and that's probably why they came off uh, very flighty, you know, in and out, unreliable, you know, in the past. And now that's something that they've changed. That's probably what you dealt with in your karmic relationship or what this person you're attracting um, to you is has dealt in theirs. But this is what's led to the guardedness, the boundaries. Like, look at the head wrap. It's like he's all bandaged because of the gaslighting, the mind uckery, the mind games, the manipulation. That's this person that was is very has um, their wall up. You know, they have these boundaries because of and even if you look in the back of this feminine, you can see like those branches look just like these wands that this person is kind of have uh used to to create like uh um you know like this protective wall and it's the same thing here it's just different and she even has something around her head so it's like you and this person are mirroring one another you both are very very guarded and it's because of what you've endured in your past that's very powerful to see that i love that I love that. So let's tap in. So let's see what the outcome is. You both have been through similar situations, but I feel you both have learned from those situations. You've grown from those situations. That's what led to tower moments. You know, the tower has led to you, you know, getting your own. There could have been codependencies. There could have been lies. There could have been a lot of deception. Because remember the hierophant, uh, uh, the high priestess or the high priest showed up. And so that really speaks to, you know, things that are hidden, things that you are unaware of. And some communication came and ish hit the fan. And instead of, you know, as I said, you know, self-loathing, you instead turn that pain into power. You started to hone your skills, gifts, and talents. You found a creative or artistic way to channel that energy. So let's tap in, beloveds. What is the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Someone sees you at your best now. And it's 1024, which is seven. So they see your growth. They know that you have uh, absolutely grown. And they see you moving forward. I also feel someone could be, you know, positioning themselves to come towards you. Because we have Aaliyah and uh, R. Kelly. And this is called Let Me Know. Uh, but it says at your best in the parentheses there. So I do feel like this person sees you at your best. And we clearly see, you know, that's why they see you as a wish fulfillment. Or they see you as, you know their dream their dream woman their dream man they see you as someone that they can you know build and cultivate with so let's tap in so what is the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection bottom of the deck overall energy and we have look at that they're about to shoot their shot this is the three of pentacles here so this is someone that is absolutely wanting to build a nucleus, build, a, you know, and collaborate an alliance and build a partnership. This is someone definitely watching you. Remember I said, I felt like you had a secret admirer because he's looking through that telescope. But then you also see uh, this masculine like shooting their shot. He has a bow and arrow. So this is someone that's absolutely going to shoot their shot uh, with at your best. They see you at your best. And we have the three of swords here. So learning from those past pains, wounds, and traumas, going through, you know, those sudden losses, losing loved ones, you know, also suffering from heartache, suffering from disappointment, you know, I feel like some of you all, like I said, it's like, um, 
you dealt with, you know, perhaps people who didn't see your worth or see your value in your past. But now they do. It's like now, you know, with this, this um, pentacle, it's like someone wants to build with you. I also feel like you've been very diligent uh, working on your goals and your hard work absolutely will pay off. I feel like others are going to discover your work or you're like, uh, I feel like you're like a trendsetter or you're going to bring in or revolutionize something because you're at your best. I feel like someone is going to let you know these, these things also. They will confess these things is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So let's tap in. Let's see what we got on the bottom of the Diz X. So we have guilt tripping. So don't trip here so if someone from your past you know tries to return um spirit is pretty much just saying that someone is trying to guilt trip you so don't trip because remember when we first started the reading i was getting an energy of someone like agitating you someone trying to come in and agitate your spirit or someone communicating some sort of lies um and um so just don't don't trip this could be someone trying to guilt trip you so this could be someone from your past this could be someone that you could have cut off or you know you know may have distanced yourself from that's what i'm getting from that so let's tap it wow i just literally started the shuffle and look what we got we have financial freedom and it says success and this is spirituality so you are absolutely getting some sort of blessing from spirit seven seven remember we saw seven 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 and i was like that's a lucky energy that's also you know telling me that you have some sort of wish fulfillment or an answered prayer so whatever you're doing whatever in terms of like your career uh whether you you're a business owner an entrepreneur uh i feel like you are absolutely going to be very successful uh you're not you're you're going to be financially free you're going to have an infinite supply what we have here is don't eat everyone's food don't let everyone in your home and this is the energy for the person you're attracting and look what we have playing it says american fruit african roots so this can be dealing with someone who has uh someone who has been doing some sort of voodoo juju hoodoo on that is ass because with american fruit uh i get strange fruit from american fruit like someone has been eating from someone that could have been doing something uh to the food a lot of people do things like witches brew um you know and they feed this to someone uh and it's a form of like a spell word it's spell word and there's a train going by so this is what could have uh caused this individual to be so guarded to be so you know distant maybe they've discovered someone was doing that to them because it says american fruit so someone could be, could have been you know from america but dealing with someone uh of african descent maybe they come from africa uh but someone did some root work you know and that's why they are establishing these boundaries that's why they come off very guarded because they have dealt with someone who they may have discovered was doing like witch's brew and witch's brew is pretty much like you know desperation you know females who put their their um they put their um menstrual blood in in the food that they're feeding uh their 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 love interest or their husbands or their fiancés their boyfriends and men do this too uh, so this is this goes both ways so but um i say menstrual psycho i think men probably put like their semen or something but uh somebody needs to hear this so spirit is telling me to break it down so somebody could hear this because it says um this is who you're attracting to you what they're dealing with and that's why they're guarded that's why they could have discovered this maybe someone got a reading uh because i did see that guidance card with what I, I saw this guidance card remember I spoke to it. This is right underneath the mirror. So someone could have gotten a reading and found out someone was doing some sort of uh, spell work on them or some sort of root work or they hexed them or they did some charm or something. And that's why they, you know, when it comes to food, maybe someone they were dealing with uh, was always cooking and they just looked at that as a, uh, so, you know, some sort of positive, you know, uh, characteristic but this person wasn't just cooking it was like 
they was doing something to the food to keep them bound, to keep them stuck. Uh, and so with that strange, you know, American fruit, African roots, uh, that's just confirming that. That's just confirming that whatever they was dealing with, they was definitely messing with the food, perhaps even the water. Maybe they did some sort of like freezer spells or they buried something, but it's like, that's why they're guarded. That's why this person, because they have learned the hard way. Whatever they were dealing with, that's what they learned. Um, with guilt trip, so don't trip on the bottom of the deck still. Um, you know, someone may uh, still be riddled with, you know, regret or remorse. Uh, but Spirit is telling, you know, whoever this person is not to trip. Uh, because, you know, you have been doing so much work on yourself that you will not uh, accuse them for crimes that they have not you know, committed. And I feel like they too will learn uh, to also, um, you know, just kind of go with the flow because your energy is just so, uh, it's inviting, it's invigorating, it's uh, very radiant. So let's see, why is the star card here for all this person? Scorpios are attracting to them, feel about our beloved Scorpios. And we have um, Tiana Taylor complicated. So this person does feel like, you know, the situation is a bit complicated. You know, perhaps trying to come towards you, uh, trying to, you know, make the effort. It, 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 it's, it will cause complications, perhaps. So we have treat yourself. You deserve it. Self-love, the best love. And that's literally what you've learned um, in your journey. So they know that you love yourself. And that's literally what I was saying. When you heal that self, you learn to love that self. When you love that self, you then know that self. So it's like they see you treating yourself like the divine feminine, divine masculine that you are. And so this is like what's making you very um, attractive at this time and it, it, it complicates things for them because it's like they don't know how to approach you is what I'm getting but I do see that there's going to be some sort of victory because Baba Ogun is here they're also you see this what's underneath that this is their issue it says trust must be earned not given um, and it says Baba Ogun breakthroughs victories so this person that doesn't trust anyone I feel like they will eventually break you know, have a major breakthrough because as I said, I feel your angels, your ancestors, your guides are absolutely conspiring to bring this union into fruition because you both have been through similar experiences. This person's trust has been broken, same as yours. And now that you are learning to love yourselves, prioritize you, uh, to follow your dreams and to co-create with source, this is making you super attracted. Um, but this person is still going through you know, so perhaps uh, fears, and that's why, you know, they're mustering up the strength and courage. But Baba Ogun is going to bring a victory. Uh, if someone was under some sort of hex, Baba Ogun will break that hex. Archangel Mikael showed up as well. So I do feel like, you know, this is a sacred union, a very spiritual union that you're coming into. You could be dealing with someone named Tiana or Taylor, first, middle, or last. Some of you could be from Harlem, New York. So let's see, Harlem world. So why is this 47, the thinking woman here, for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. Finish that shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we have say less, action speak louder. So remember I was saying like I was getting a sense of like someone calling someone and then this person turning around like, yes. You know, like, so this could be someone, um, you know, that will finally like speak will say what they need to say, come towards you, take action. Uh, but look what flew out. It says feather, protection, and love from your guardian angels. So some of you could be finding feathers randomly. You may, I'm hearing someone could have found a feather in their car, or you could have found a feather in your home, or maybe when you're out walking, you could have found a feather as you're walking. So this is like this is why uh, this divine feminine is so wise or this divine masculine is so wise. What's hidden is there are, you know, angels and guardians protecting you, protecting this union. And it's also aligning you with someone um, that you are meant to be with. A bunch of cards just flipped over and I literally got to show you. So the same last, remember, this was on the bottom of the deck. Look at all these cards that just spat out of my hand and look at the first card. That's there. It says twin flame. So you are attracting your twin flame. Remember, this number is 47, which is 11. 11 breaks down to two. So this is someone I'm getting like the two of cups that feels like you are the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. Someone that can have equal give and take, because remember, we did see temperance and she had those two chalices pouring into one another. So this has taken time. 
uh, because good things take time to create. And I feel like the angels are absolutely aligning this connection. If you are finding feathers, that is the way that your angels and ancestors are guiding you and telling you that they're still with you and that you are transforming and changing for the better and that your life as you know it will change and transform for the best for the better i feel like whatever you're studying whatever business endeavors you're embarking upon spirit is absolutely aligning you with someone that is going to be your support system they're going to not only be like your love partner a business partner they're going to be your friend your homie they're going to be someone you pray with lay with and someone that you play with like this is a beautiful connection overall but you have twin flame this card showed up so it says on the card a house of mirrors and remember we had mirror here so this is someone that sees you as a like mind they see you in their likeness so it says a house of mirrors it says commonalities and interests values strengths hopes weaknesses dreams aspirations fears and vulnerabilities so as i said you will attract someone who's been on the same journey has been through the same life lessons as you next we have the chemistry is real and it says words unspoken and remember i was feeling like you weren't speaking to someone the train went by and i was feeling like someone was definitely feeling distance um you know or there was you know there was some sort of distance or there could be someone you know who will take action because you can see this person is watching and then you see them eventually shoot their shot. So they could be someone that is going to take action and shoot their shot. Because he's actually shooting his shot directly towards this feminine. So as you can see, he's watching this feminine. And he's watching her learn and grow. This feminine is very intelligent. She's also very serious about her works. Serious about, uh, you know, um, her business. But she's also, you know informed this is like you know even a sage they could see you as like a sage but this is a protected union so with the chemistry is real this is someone that does feel that synergy remember we also had this spirituality card here as well so this is that twin flame union this person is closing that gap of distance i feel like they're getting very close to um to reaching out to you know communicating because the seven seven breaks down to 14 that's five that's the throat chakra so they will be expressing something i feel like this person will be expressing their feelings we also have the yoke is has been broken so remember with don't eat everyone's food and that boundaries this person there was some sort of spell some yoke some hex some voodoo juju hoodoo and this person is moving away from that person so the yoke has been broken. So Archangel Mikael, the angels, remember I was saying I felt like they were conspiring behind the scenes to bring, you know, uh, this union into fruition. And then all these cards are just confirming that fact. It's showing that this is a sacred union. It's showing it's a spiritual union. You got Mama Yemenya. And it says, love thyself. You are beautiful. And it says, protect thy family. So absolutely, this is going to, you know, blossom into a love partnership and you will build a family, a nucleus with this person. This is someone that you will have um, you know, by your side as a support system, someone very devoted, someone very domestic as well. And we have uh, chem again. And remember, we had that chemistry card. The chemistry is real. And this is called matter of time. So in a matter of time, this person is coming. We saw that temperance, and I told you that, you know, in divine timing, things are happening in divine timing. Next, we have, uh, you need a woosah, a vacay, a trip, a spa day, mani-pedi. You deserve it. So you've been working very hard, as I said, on yourself internally. The last song we had was Inside Playing by Kim. And so I feel like you've done a lot of internal work. You've healed at a soul level. And now spirit is saying it's time for you to go and woosa, to go take a break, to take a vacation. Because you've been really working hard, co-creating, healing, grounding yourself. You know, breaking those generational curses, hexes, and yokes is, is, is not an easy task. It just isn't. With the yoke has been broken. I put the wrong card back you know down but the yoke has been broken and then you have redemption so it's like you've redeemed yourself you've overcome some sort of um 
obstacles here and this uh, card also came out in a former reading it says perform a release ceremony write it down and burn it take the ashes to a body of water or outside and release let it go let it flow so some of you all need to do this you still have not uh, performed this release ceremony you could do this any day of the week uh, but you also should do it at a body of water you could either release it into the body of water or you could release it just in the air um, but definitely you need uh, to perform a release ceremony and it's like you write down whatever it is you wish to release whatever it is that you've been holding on to uh, whatever pain whatever agony whatever frustration whatever disappointments whatever you know whatever uh, you know whatever you still feel um, is holding you back you know whatever you still have some reservations about spirit is telling you it's time to perform a release ceremony to let it go because those things will bound you know they will they will uh anchor you uh energetically energetically and it will keep you bound remember we saw that caged bird being let go being let free and that represents the mind so it's like you know you can you don't have to necessarily be imprisoned physically where your body is in prison um but you could also be in prison mentally so it's really about you know freeing your mind uh just like that in vogue song free your mind the rest shall follow become a blind don't be so shallow so it's like free your mind. You gotta free your mind. Next we have dreams, and it says don't forget them. They are more than something you wake up from. Believe. So chasing your dreams, going after your dreams, following your heart's truest desires, and and taking that leap of faith to embark upon whatever that dream is, so that it can become a reality. So this is perhaps what you're doing here, where you are learning and studying, and you know perhaps honing that skill, that gift, that talent. You know maybe this is you here. You know also just like you know affecting change, setting your your intentions co-creating with source and master manifesting whatever this is that you envision for yourself this could also be someone who sees you as a, a, a wish fulfillment or someone who could see you as their dream love or their dream woman or their dream uh, husband whatever that is it's like this is someone that realizes like you're the one you know you're the one you could be realizing this about another person as well with a matter of time playing by Kim I feel like you know divine timing I keep hearing divine timing and we have four page letter and it says these are my thoughts should I send it text delete text delete so this is someone who is scribing like you know a love letter a uh, four page letter is an ode to Aaliyah's song so this is someone who has feelings deep feelings and in a matter of time they're going to muster up that strength to take that action you know to shoot their shot to express their feelings uh, so there could be some movement remember we saw 88 abundance and that 88 breaks down to 16 which breaks down to 7 that's the chariot so they've been balancing things out remember we saw the angel of balance so they've been balancing themselves emotionally and also getting their thoughts gathering their thoughts uh, trying to figure out how to express uh, what it is they feel because maybe they they don't really understand um, you know how they feel but with thunder clapping and it says prepare take shelter this could also be someone who is you know trying to cause confusion or try trying to uh bring about some some hostility your way uh so spirit is telling you prepare take shelter so this could just literally be like a warning shot uh you know not to just let anyone um move you or trigger you because whoever angers you controls you and this person knows that and with smiling faces sometimes don't uh tell the truth very beguiling so don't just you know believe everybody smiling in your face is is cool in the game because that's not the truth some of these people are very manipulative they're gaslighters someone could even be you know potentially um you know trying to sabotage something so they're, they're just going to smile their way uh through the whole thing remember we saw that person that was wearing a hood and a mask and i was saying that this is someone very fake you know very fugazi you know um this is a false person so and it says jealousy is a sickness hater alert stalker alert so someone is definitely watching you they've watched your ascension uh you know 
with the three of pentacles these could be people that you work with perhaps someone at your job or your place of employment or maybe someone that you used to work with or maybe someone you were in a partnership or a relationship with that you're no longer there with jealousy as a sickness i feel like this person is obviously very envious of you envious of your uh you know your wisdom that you've obtained envious of you know the actions that you're now taking you've moved away it's like you've made a decision to leave something behind and you're you're growing you're ascending you're elevating um and you've reached that level of knowledge of self you're busy creating you're not paying attention to the knowledge nonsense so you're not affected by anything that anyone is doing and we have only calls with bad news and it says it's time to stop accepting those calls for your peace of mind so if you have anyone in your life that constantly calls you uh with bad news and that just kind of kind of like makes your energy just kind of plummet it's like get rid of that person uh because they know what they're doing it's almost like they wait to when you're in this, these high vibrations they watch and then they you know take action to try to you know to to um you know take the wind out of you almost and then we have warrior spirit didn't i say this earlier that you have this warrior spirit and it says you defy the odds so there's people that are hating because you know you've absolutely turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower and these are the people that were responsible for you needing to heal and grow and move forward uh with you know loving yourself these are the people that thought that they had you figured out those are the people that you know were sitting there acting like they were in you know celebrating your wins but they were like literally praying on your downfall these are fake and fugazi people uh just like that song says smiling faces smiling faces sometimes they don't tell the truth so that's what you was dealing with you was dealing with somebody that definitely was very very uh very much a beguiling energy this is someone that speaks with a forked tongue very jealous very envious and it's to a fault like this is somebody that just sits around stalks watches you this is someone that you have not been dealing with and speaking to because the trains kept going by and whenever the train goes by uh of course it could mean that you're traveling and you know you're taking a trip but i always get distance whether it's emotional or physical distance and this is distance that you have affected because remember we saw that sanctuary card earlier and i was feeling like you um have created like a safe space and we also see with the boundaries that you have your guard up we saw the nine of wands and then we also saw this card which really mirrored one another because both of those cards not only did it have um let me show you i can show you better than i can tell you beloved so both of these cards they're both wearing something oddly enough on their crown chakra which speaks to like you know that could be the gaslighting that could be the you know you know the mind ucking but also those those trees behind this feminine could really uh literally be like the nine of wands this is how many chances you've given individuals and how many times they've disappointed you but those are also people that you felt like the need to establish boundaries with because maybe you sensed and felt intuitively being the spiritual beings that you are that um you know these people don't really rock with you like that they're not really who they proclaim to be but look what spirit said you are protected from your secret enemies beloved and this is actually a side jewel so you're protected from your secret enemies and it's because as i said you have a calling and anointing on your life you are a chosen one and that's why you also have all these confirmations feathers they denote protection from your angels from your guides and love more importantly and erica badu is singing clever so you outwit outsmart these individuals um naturally that's because you're naturally intuitive so whoever that high priest was whoever these individuals are um they, they, they mess on with a real one because <laughs> your angels and guides they don't play when it comes to you and i feel like these individuals are going to learn the hard way so let's tap it so with clever you're very wise and this is obvious because the thinking woman came out and it's also obvious because of what you have endured in your past even if you're masculine you know you're very cerebral you're very uh intuitive so let's tap it why is this three of pentacles here for the outcome and then we're going to why is the three of pentacles here for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection that was a lot of messages that were expounded that i just expounded on so what do we have here 
So it says they're addicted to you. This might be cause for alarm. And it says deal accordingly. So yeah, so whoever this is, the, uh, the addiction is like a devil. You know, the devil is very addicted, very deceitful, very envious, jealous, all of those things. And whoever this is, this is someone that is obsessed. You know, this is someone that's definitely watching and stalking. So they could be keeping up with you, keeping up with your business, what you're doing, what you got going on. And they're very jealous because they see you're on the road to success. And he, she is the one that got away. Can't shake this feeling, fell out. And that is clarifying this card here. So someone is prepared and ready to shoot their shot. Uh, this could be an acquaintance. This could be someone you have passed and, you know, you have met in passing. Um, this could be someone that you could have communicated with online. Whoever this is, you have a secret admirer. This is someone that definitely wants to uh, come towards you and approach you uh, because they do feel like you're the one that got away. Remember the one played by Tamar Braxton. So this person definitely feels you are the one. And we also had He Loves Me, um, but playing by Joe Scott. And it says he, she is the one. So I do feel like, you know, it could be a female or a male uh, that is coming towards you because they do muster up the strength with the three of pentacles. Threes are always like, you know, to me, it's like a ready, set, go. So this person is planning, preparing, and then they're going to shoot their shot. They're going to take action and come towards you because they do feel you're the one that got away. They do feel a strong connection. As I said, this could be like a past life connection. I don't feel this is an ex. I don't feel this is anybody that you had something with. Um, I feel this is someone that absolutely is coming to some realization that you have more in common uh, than not. They also find you to be someone that matches their vibration, that you are someone that they have strong chemistry with or strong spiritual bond with. And they want to come towards you. They want to build this connection. And um, I find this to be absolutely gorgeous, beloved. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the messages resonate, please be kind. Hit the like button, the share button. Definitely hit the bell notification. Uh, if you are new, I hope my energy vibe with yours. I hope messages resonated with you and you stay a while, beloved. Um, I do offer uh, personal readings. I've just started, uh, you know, um, booking personal readings. So check out the link in my description box. I also have a commercial uh, on my um on my about page on my channel uh and you could go and check it out you know but i do provide personal readings i provide uh an emergency reading which you will receive within 24 hours it is a one hour deep dive um i also provide a one hour deep dive and a two hour deep dive uh if you so feel inclined to have uh those messages uh those messages Typically, you'll get those readings within four to five business days, but the emergency read, you will get that within 24 hours. So if you are interested in a personal reading with me, go and check it out. Book your reading today. I will be more than happy. I will be honored to tap into your energy. I also have an Etsy shop, so you can also click that link. I sell a little bit of everything. Uh, I put a lot of love, a lot of intention. Uh, every item that I handcraft is made and um, and is is powerfully activated and charged on each of my altars. So you will feel the energy when you uh, receive your your products, but. Thank you so much. Just a little shameless plug. I thank you so much for tuning in. It's happening to all my A1s, Day 1s, my beloveds who are returning. You already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, send a big fat ashe. Peace.